Let's have a look. So here we go. I can see a big open field. This could be it. Let's have a look. Byway. Okay, so we've got a byway sign. That's good. It's, uh, I mean, it doesn't get any more obvious than that. This is pretty exciting, by the way, and it is straight across a field. So, <laughs> I think this one might be one to bring the family, because, yeah, this is lovely. The last one was pretty extreme, and I think <laughs> we might have had to, well, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to turn around because we were on a crazy incline, but yeah, this is, uh, this is nice and we are driving across the farmer's field but it is a official byway so we will see what happens hopefully I won't have a farmer come and confront me but you know I am following the, the rules here on my on my view ranger on the Oz maps it's the green lines with a, a green cross through it so that is um, that's a, a byway. So actually, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy this for a minute. And what is that? I'm just gonna check. Is it? it? Looks like there might be some broken glass. I'm not sure. So you should still be able to hear me as I walk away because I'm using a Sennheiser a Sennheiser lav mic, which I uh, did a video on, which is on the YouTube channel which was for exactly this reason so that I could just carry on recording while walking while being away from the Jeep yeah there's some kind of broken glass I don't think it's gonna give me too much of a problem what I might do is send the drone up and get a little uh, drone shot of, of my position I'm not sure if that's a great idea, but hey, you sometimes you just got <laughs> you just got to go for it and see what happens. So I'm going to stop recording, and you might be cutting to a drone shot. And if you're not, if not, then that's because it didn't work out. Well, the drone was a complete fail. The, it was saying that mag interference, like really strong mag interference. I put the drone up and basically just lost didn't have connection to the aircraft. Um, I was able to still control it, so I was able to bring it into land, but it wouldn't even let me film. So, I don't know what that problem was. All right, what's coming up? It looks like it's getting interesting. Um, so, we'll see what happens. I might have to, okay, so I'm in four high. Let's, this is pretty narrow through here. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while and the road is really bad let's put some scratches down the jeep oh sorry jeep there we go and a little cut in there wow this is tight okay well, i guess we'll see what happens though oh, sh So this one might be something I regret because it is really, really tight, like insanely tight. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, that's what it's all about though. Okay, let's hope we didn't just destroy the roof. <laughs> I've got the, um, oh, what's the convertible roof? Let's just have a look, shall we? We're okay. <laughs> a lot of noise is probably off the um, Thule rack. 
quite we've got quite an incline here, so let's um, see whether or not we need to go into full low, or if we can just do it in this mode. <laughs> Oh, this is really, really narrow. <laughs> oh my god! This is, you know, I mean, I've had better ideas. If I get stuck, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Is, um, this is pretty challenging to say the least. Wow, okay. This isn't the most beautiful lane, there's some kind of building on my left. Uh, hey, we're still going, we're not stuck at the moment. So, it could, things could change, but we'll see. I need to be able to see because this is getting quite leery here. There's some, looks like someone's been fly tipping here, which is just shocking. Yeah, fridge, fridge freezer, a couple of fridge freezers. How on earth have got down here? God only knows. Okay, this is, yeah, this is pretty extreme. Uh, uh, really narrow. Oh my God. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of scratches. But we're still going. And there's some people walking across the field. Okay, there's a... What is that? It's a bit of wood I'm just going to deal with. some pretty interesting memories here and scratches are just scratches you know eventually this car will be sold or I'll move on in its life and Ooh, rambles oh, sh that wasn't good <laughs> oh god right I can see a road in the distance over there so I'm quite near a road I mean, yeah, I could actually drive up to that road there. I oh, know there's some posts. Right, let's carry on then. And according to View Ranger, up here turn right. So let's see. Just got to carry on with a bit more of a challenge. This uh, opened up a little bit here. Now we are basically turning into these woods by the looks of it, down here. I just hope that at the end I can actually get out. So there is a, another way down there but it's not my way, it's just a single dash line. And this way is continuing on the byway, not too far, through a farm. It's nice and open here so give me a little <laughs> break from the and the craziness of destroying the jeep, but 
that. Here we go. Get a little bit of speed up. Nice and open, nice and smooth. And we are coming right down near. Ah, uh, this does not look good. Okay, looks like there's a gate and it looks shut. Looks like it's blocked. Let's go and have a look and see if it can be opened. Otherwise we are reversing. Okay. So, ah, oh, stinging nettles. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, looks okay. No, that is locked. So that is padlocked, which sh it shouldn't be, because this is a byway. So whoever's done that is in the wrong, and has given me a real challenge now. Cause I've now got to reverse up this road. So that is a big problem. This uh, will soon see how big the Jeep really is in this scenario. This is not, not an ideal situation and uh, obviously being on my own, it's not easy. I need to turn around. to turn the Jeep around in a really, really tight space there, so I'm quite pleased with that. And <laughs> if this is making you cringe, trust me, it's making me cringe as well. But we're doing it, so hey. It's not exactly the Rubicon Trail. <laughs> as we are in a Jeep Wrangler Uber Club, but this is what you get down the road from where I live in uh, the southeast of England. And it is a beautiful day, at least. I'm not having to deal with uh, mud on my first sort of outing. I'm just dealing with um, uh, bramble bushes, branches. Shred in the car. I'm not sure what my wife's gonna say when she sees all the scratches, but. Kind of 
no point shooting you in, I'm committed, so you know, there's no going back. But in this scenario there was, I had to go back because somebody put a lock on that gate, which was not right. Okay, here we go, we're back out on this beautiful field. Oh, that was, <laughs> that's the stuff that's a little bit stressful. Okay, here we go. There we go. I think for the day, that's going to be it. I, uh, it's been a little bit nerve wracking. This would definitely be an easy experience with a, a couple of other vehicles. And, you know, we would like really take the pressure off. Doing it on your own is a little bit daunting. But yeah, just, just gotta get out of there <laughs> and, uh, and do it. Ooh. Yeah, this, uh, this Jeep is awesome. This is really the first time I've and I've asked it to do anything difficult and um, it's just, yeah, it's a trooper, absolute trooper. So um, yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the end of the lane. I think that's it. Um, I thought I was finished with that other one, but I guess my nerves calmed down a little bit, and I headed to another another green lane by way. Frustratingly, it was shut at the end. And yeah, there we go. My first attempt out at doing a proper off-road green lane. Um, yeah, we're done. I'm gonna go back, go home, and tell the wife about my adventures and download this footage so yeah hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend if it's the weekend for you take it easy bye